when Solomon became a king the enemy got terrified when Solomon became a king the enemy became scared Solomon was young and inexperienced Solomon when he became a king the enemy one of the enemies that he had was Joab Joab was actually David's relative. Joab was David's commander for a very long time and Joab was extremely skilled in the ways of war. Joab, he was a man that was extremely experienced in warfare. He was so brave and so brutal that when David would be with, with him and the other men, they were afraid of what David and his men were able to do. Joab was the man you don't want to mess with and long time ago he was David's friend but because of turn of events he became he defected to Adonijah and he killed Abner and he killed Amasa one of the two generals that Israel had in a time of peace Joab is symbolic of the devil he used to be with God but he defected and today he kills giants today he attacks God's children and today he's experienced in the area of cunning, deception and hurting people. Devil has more experience than, than we can even fathom. And here he is left to deal with Solomon. And Solomon has no more father because his father died. And Joab is so experienced and so advanced. He's so crafty and so cunning and he's so good at what he does. And Solomon has no experience in war. Solomon is very fragile. But there's one thing Solomon has that Joab doesn't. Solomon has authority and Joab doesn't. And Solomon being young, inexperienced, did not back away or shut himself down or got intimidated or got pressured by the great experience and the power of Joab. He went after Joab. Job took his hands in the altar in the temple and says you're not going to touch me here and Solomon says watch me. He sent one brave man and he struck him there and Joab was no more. I want to tell each one of us here today Satan is smarter, greater than you. You are inexperienced. You and I are like Solomon. We don't have experience. We don't beat Satan without experience. We don't beat Satan with the fact we've been Christians for 20 years. We don't beat Satan with the fact that we can chant the name of Jesus 300 miles per hour. We don't beat Satan with the fact that we know the three, John 3 16 and we don't beat Satan because somehow the, the religious heritage that we have, we only can beat Satan with one thing, the authority of the name of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. He might be old and experienced. He might be Asian but he is defeated under your authority. I want to tell you something today. You might have actually demonic attack on your own life. You may feel like Solomon. This Joab has been a family friend for so long. This Joab has been attacking your life and you feel prey. You are a victim. You may feel like I don't have anything. I cannot even resist this sin no more. I cannot resist this sickness. This Joab has killed this person and this person in my family with cancer and I am so weak. You might be weak but you are a king. Satan is not. Satan has been thrown down and Jesus says I saw him fall like a lightning. He wasn't going up, he was going down and he's not stopping on this earth. The Bible says an angel will come, bind him with the chain and throw him even deeper into the lower parts of the earth. Satan, though experienced and Asian, he is a defeated foe and he is terrified if you know who you are. Even if that sickness has killed great men in your family, you have to understand you have authority. And he is terrified when he knows you know what you got. Because you have authority that did not make the devil and sickness and disease and his works completely vanish. But that authority makes puts fear inside of him. Because we have law enforcement in Tri-Cities. When, when a law enforcement officer gets sworn in, all the criminals do not disappear from Tri-Cities. But when a law enforcement walks on the street, if you are a true criminal, your heart beats faster. You even know that when you're not a criminal, you're just speeding. And you, the fear of God hits you like crazy. And you right away, you don't even know how to pray like Santa Maria, precious Jesus. I mean, anybody there, help me out, Lord. Why? Because, because of the authority. 
Now a guy may be behind you who is shorter than you. You might whip him in the, in, in the wrestling match, but that doesn't matter. He might be less educated than you. He might have less money than you. But see, the problem is when you are on the road, what puts fear inside of your trembling heart is the fact he has authority and you don't. You must understand that Satan doesn't have a badge. You do. This is not his earth. The Bible says the earth God has given to the sons of men. God is the owner but he delegated to us. When a devil roams around the earth, when he comes and attacks, he is an ancient dragon. He is a job that sometimes clings to different things and you have to be bold even when you are insecure or feel unworthy to know your authority cannot be tampered with.